Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, with me is the Wheatley, and I have that small shimmer left. That small shimmer of hope that ha didn't leave me yet. That I can make this game on the fat man slash normal difficulty. Keep up with the world even after it ended. With the radio, yes, I will definitely get the radio. And I still, okay, family's all the way over there. There's a gas, Mursk. I guess we're going to start back here. Just gonna grab everything I can. I should really pay attention to what the radio tells me, what kind of item they would like to, me to have. I just don't see where that would be. Oh, they might have stopped already. Well, we'll figure it out as we go along. Ah, my fat daughter. You take up so much space, but if you turn into a mutant, you're awesome. So maybe I get lucky, who knows? She just needs to be bitten by uh, cockroaches. And every once in a while, she will turn into a super awesome mutant. No, I think that's that's good enough of a reason to take her with me, even though nobody likes her. Nobody really is a big Mary Jane fan. So I'm reading the comments. I know you guys are not crazy about her. Me neither. But it's another it's another survivor, and that can bring in delicious, helpful, practical loot when you need it. Okay, let's grab the radio. What else we got? Oh, the Boy Scout book and some water. Ooh, there's playing cards, but I can't get them fast enough. Ah, well. I don't have a flashlight and I don't have a playing cards. Uh, at this point, I've been bitten in my tiny little weasel ass so many times by items missing that I don't know which item to get. I'm probably going to lose the map because there's going to be a flood or the flashlight, so you don't even know even if you get a flashlight if it's going to help you out. Well, we'll see. Oh, I forgot Timmy! Well, Timmy. Guess we're doing it without the kid. We got to shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her too, but the fan noises here is bad enough. Oh, wait a second. Where's Timmy? <laughs> Sorry. Shelves are full of cans. There's barely enough water. Best stock shelter we've seen. Uh, well, could be better. I mean, three bottles of water are not crazy. But we got the daughter, which we can send out. She probably is going to get sick. So I might wait a few days until things light up, maybe. Ah, let's let's send Mary Jane scavenging. That's such a shame with Timmy. No Timmy. I feel I feel kinda kinda bad for leaving him behind. How could I totally miss him? Well, I am a little bit tired. It is super late. It has been a super long day. And tr you try to record and play a very good game <laughs> with that. That's why I screwed up the... which part was it? Yeah, day 120 and then didn't give her water. Just, I was so tired. Ted should drink something soon. Water's all Dolores wants. You're not gonna get anything except, you know, Mary Jane. She's gonna get something. Because she has to go scavenge. I hope she's gonna be fine. We'll see about the water thing. Otherwise, this is gonna be a short run. Dolores will not survive. Yes, 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 yes. You guys just shut up. This is insane. We find spiders everywhere. There's no soup. There's no water. Oh, yes. We're going to use that Boy Scout book and get a can of soup. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Exciting times. Yep. Probably could do with a little bit more water. Anyway, it's time to give people water. Here you go. Mary Jane should be dead by at this point. But I think if they're outside of the bunker, um, deaths, deaths work differently. I don't know how. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine, and Ted is hungry. Soup is definitely not a thing I'm missing, my friend. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean to us as much as Auntie Ada. Ada. It, Ada. I, I have no idea. Ada, good boy. Uh, she lives in the country. Yes, let's see if we have some pictures of her in the Boy Scout book. I'm really excited for the briefcase DLC that they announced. I wonder what it is. Just been just been teasing it. Wait, wait, did you just No. I I always I'm a little bit paranoid these days. With a bird on your shoulder that he'll just, you know, do things on me. <laughs> okay. So yes, Dolores would like to eat something. And we found the photo. Dolores, here's some food. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if something is out there. And, of course, we heard a growl in the darkness. We're gonna use the rifle to deal with said creature. 
that is waiting for us and howling and just being nasty and naughty. Not a creature. Quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature. You should know if you brought it down. Anyway, water is all that Dolores wants, and so does Ted. The daughter isn't back yet. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer. What's that, rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats, and what's with the double tail? Let's chop it into pieces and make soup out of it. That would be great. Mary Jane! You're sick, but you brought a med kit. Wait, or did I have a med kit before? Well, we'll see. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good enough to look for food and water. Our expedition was coming home with nothing to show for of all the searching, but then we stumbled across full trash cans in our neighborhood. One man's trash is one man's treasure. One of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Ha! The joke's on him. If he's in a shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets. Anyway, soup. One. Why do people throw out water? Who cares? Finders keepers. Water! Oh, the irony or maybe paradox. A gas mask lying in a pile of stinky garbage. Hehe. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we didn't get the med kit, but I'm going to use the med kit on Mary Jane. Absolutely. She's starving. Uh, water, not today. Give her some food. I have uh, some, some med kit and food. I do think that water resets. I think water resets. We're going to send uh, our woman wife creature outside tomorrow. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. Yes, let's listen to the radio and let's hear about the government telling us how they're gonna rescue us and just lie to us. Anyway, Mary Jane is healed. We knew it. The government has not fallen. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food and water. Yes, they all want water now. So we're gonna give that to them and food to Mary Jane. Well, Dolores, you're gonna have to go outside. It's that time. As long as Ted is in here, doesn't go crazy, we might be fine. Best best situation ever would be if Dolores would bring us a medkit. Mary Jane is hungry still, man. She chomps away a lot of food. Ah well, let's hope she make it back safe and sound. Here's some food. Where did that green puddle come from? Ah, the pipe is leaking. I I always wonder where that green stuff is coming from. A little, little worrisome. I bet it's radioactive. Problem solved, no leak, no mess. Back to our tight little shelter. It would be interesting if radioactivity would actually be super green and glowy, so you would totally be able to identify it. Would make things easier. You know, you don't need a Geiger counter, it's like, you just need your eyes. Anyway, Ted is hungry, and Mary Jane still could use food. That's such, ah, I feel such such a waste, but we can send her out again, so. Yes, let's listen to the radio. Let's listen to what's going on in our brave new world outside. It's day 13, my favorite day, full of luck. I wonder if there's something, some events that are just tacked to days. All right, we get uh, a weak signal and tap into government age emergency announcement. I guess what great news, the fallout outside has mostly gone. It's not gonna help our woman wife creature. Dolores, but uh, water. Uh, day 15. Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning into that signal. Oh, yeah. For what it's worth. They probably want playing cards or a flashlight. Just because. Uh, we could near nothing. What a shame. She keeps fainting. One foot in the grave. Trash can is becoming full. Why would I even use to poison the gas spray? It's gonna waste the whole thing. Oh, I should actually not do that and wait for the trash can to overflow so we get cockroaches there so they can attack Mary Jane and make her into a mutant. Well, Dolores is back. Not necessarily safely because she's totally sick. We tried our luck at the nearby bar, fittingly called the World's End. Oh, nice. Usually such a respectable family like our own would never go there, but this time we gave it a shot, hoping to find some unclaimed goods. I like the reference there. Who would have known that tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in a bar? We found a few cans and took them with us. We didn't expect to find any clean water in the bar, and... Oh, fine. And we weren't wrong. Whatever we found wasn't pure and it wasn't water, but hey, if it quenches thirst, it counts. Well, if it's radioactive, you should probably not drink it, but eh, who cares? <sighs> Dolores would really love to eat something. Uh, she came down with a sickness. And everyone wants water, obviously, and water. Here you go, and water for everyone. Yeah, there's nothing I can do with the med kit. Maybe we can make something. I 
anyway. We should prepare an expedition. I guess we could send Ted. You found some weird mushrooms growing on the walls. Nope, we're not eating them. No. No, not happening. That's not the best idea. Wish I had Timmy, so I could send him. At least the fallout is gone. We may be hungry, but there are some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Well, if you're starving, you're gonna eat everything. Including your daughter. She looks like you could eat her. You know, just judging from what's on there. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Uh, that's nothing to do. Yeah, whenever I send them out, they're really hungry. Okay. You can do this, Ted. You can bring us something really useful. You better. You better. Oh, look at Mary Jane. She's like well rested and doing really okay. Good. Let's give her some food. Today the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway through the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we were alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We don't need a map. We need a map to establish where that is. There you go. Map. Fantastic. That worked out. Finally, we could make some contact. Quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Why a bottle? Anyway, Mary Jane is quite hungry. We can spare some water. Yes, 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 eventually. It's not water day yet. Ah, uh, okay. Good, the mask is not in because Ted is out with the mask. We don't have a flashlight, so we're gonna save the radio during this earthquake. That's a good, good situation. Not losing anything makes me happy. I wish I could make some med kit from the poison. We really could use some before Dolores dies. Um, Mary Jane could use some war food. Here you go, Mary Jane. Man, all these brutal drawings. They worry me quite a lot. Day 20. You know, take your daughter as an example. She looks healthy and... Good mood. Probably hasn't showered in 20 days. There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? Mary's diet could use... Oh, really? Food again? Well. Fine. Here's water. Here's food. Water is not something we're running out of right now. We always wanted to throw a party with huge cake. Well, I want to throw a party with... Um... Muffins. Man, I could go for some muffins right now. I can't help it. I can't help it. And also, I wonder, if I start talking about food, what are the chances that you're gonna get up right now and gonna grab, I don't know, a snack? Like Kit Kat or, you know, a donut or anything. If you do, what kind of snack are you... What kind of snack are you eating when you're watching this? Because then I can contact snack producers and tell them, like, Listen, my viewers like your snacks, so send me snacks. And I will tell you that the snacks are good. Yeah, I didn't think that through at all. We can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? What floats your boat? Mary Jane, she's fine. Doris is fatigued. Doris. Dolores, weasel. Dolores. Oh, we can't sleep. Well, guess who's going to go crazy now? Or just tired. What a shame. She was doing so well. Oh, Ted is coming back. Well, Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Here's some food. Man, please don't die on me, Dolores. I kind of could use an alive woman. Ooh, I think he found quite a lot of stuff. And he found a med kit. Yay! Ted has safely returned. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Yeah, we don't have. We should not go out right now. For our daily butter and bread needs. We always went to the small store next to the barbers. They had the most amazing clerk who always asked us to come again. We found it intact. Most of the shelves were outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Four soup cans! Yay! I'm um, sorry. We found a shelf with a big sign that read everything for 99 cents. Four bottles of water. A med kit. A gas mask. I mean, we had one before, but hey, that's awesome. So, Mary Jane is thirsty. Laura's has a drink sometimes, and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Here you get that, and I'm gonna heal Dolores. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're not going out. I don't wanna go out right now. We were discussing plants for a first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of wrecked survivors. They were a sorry sight, and we weren't surprised when they requested eight. Hmm. 7.5, 7.5, 7. 
I'm gonna give him a can of soup. Because I feel really... What do you say? Gracious is not the wrong is, is the wrong word. Give me give me a second. I feel spendabel. <laughs> that would be the German one. Großzügig, großzügig. That would be the German word. Um, no, it's not gra gratius. That's like thankful. I have no idea. The words fail me. What is großzügig? Well, pretty sure someone in the comments will tell you guys. I don't know. Apparently, our visitor had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed. Usually, they would give us a map, but since we have a map, eh, whatever. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to find her something to drink fast. Well, he can go another day, and he gets some soup. Yeah, we're not sending anyone outside. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio until midday, but after we tuned into the military broadcast, we were left speechless. Not only did they not deliver on the evacuation promise, they also ordered us to dispose of all of our firearms before the military arrives to us. Who has such sort of a thing? Okay, here's the thing. Usually I ignore that, but I want to make sure that I do everything that the military says because I really want to get rescued by the military and that might be a big mistake, but we still have the axe that we can use to defend ourselves in case we encounter raiders. So, throwing the rifle out. We can always find another one. I think I did it once. I threw it out once before. We decided to follow military orders and got rid of our rifle. We did so with a heavy heart, but that is the price to getting to safety. We paid gladly. That doesn't mean we'll never get another one, though. Exactly. So, she will not survive without any water. Uh, yeah, it's water time. Water time. Chica, 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 chica. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, of course, we're not gonna send anyone. They really need to relax a little bit, take it easy. Just wait for maybe some signals here and there. But I think before day 50, there's nothing gonna ha happen. I feel that's just what is going on. Um, wait, who's hungry? Mary Jane is hungry. Here, have some more food. Seems awfully quiet. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We don't know until we get out. Ah, I'm gonna wait a few more days before I send the next person. Maybe day 20. I can prepare it now and then I can send it on day 28. Uh, playing the silent game would be a good idea. Silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Everyone's calm. No new problems. We actually can't send anyone. So... I'm gonna wait until they're doing better. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving us crazy! <sighs> I got the checkers board. Otherwise, they all would lose their... brain nuts. Their brain nuts would go crazy. Okay. Just having some fun made us forget about what was it again? Can we spray some water? Yes, yes, yes. Day 30. And if they would have gone crazy, my chances to survive this would have deteriorated rapidly. Like, really rapidly. Ah, keeps fainting, has not eaten in a while. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, oh, she wants food. No problem. Here. Here you go, wifey creature. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's wrong with her. Well, let's talk to her then. Be a responsible parent. Have a nice talk with her. Day 30? Day 30 is great. Uh, nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the ladder, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Good. Now it's water time. Still nobody in condition. Interesting. Wasting is full of surprises like a man on the other side knocking and claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Well, what does a lot mean? Here's my ammunition. I don't really need it, so... Tell me, what are you giving me for that? What were you giving me? One soup can. That is not a lot. That's not a lot. He said he's offering a lot. Lies. Mary Jane and Dolores have rested and Ted is hungry. Well, that's great, because now they can go outside. Fantastic timing. The army started broadcasting again. They're requesting a representative from all survivor groups to meet to a specified location nearby. Seems they wish to question people before they evacuate us from the area. Why are you so upset? You want to come over, Wheatley? Good bird. Well, Mary Jane. Ah, Dolores, sorry. Dolores, we're going to send her as a representative. Very well. Ted, you seem really annoyed. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes and told us they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our son they didn't make uh, best didn't make it through the explosion. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely. There's nothing bothering Mary Jane, and Dolores is quite calm. 
There's actually quite a few good situations. Uh, vigorous enough to withstand the deserts. Pretty good shape. Today? Hmm. Dolores is in pretty good shape. What if I give her some food and then send her out? You know, we're gonna do that. After Dolores returned from the last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. Oh, okay. We're gonna send her out right now. So, I don't wanna waste my axe. I'm just gonna send her and she's gonna be gone now because we're sending her out. Wait, didn't I tell her to go? I told her to go. What? We didn't do anything after uh, about that infected wound. After all, our ancestor could survive without all that fancy medicine. Why should we listen to the doctors? Dolores is looking more sickly, though. Ugh, no good. Mary Jane is quite hungry, very thirsty. Um. Well, here's some food. And who should go outside? Well, Dolores should go outside. I'm gonna give her some extra food here. That's odd. I thought I sent her yesterday. Maybe I didn't. Oh. Father and daughter. Yeah. They look very similar to each other. Not Oh, sorry. Not saying that's a good thing. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yes, yes, yes. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Oh, I hope... I hope the water's not going to be a problem. Ooh, we can make a first aid kit with box spray. Yay. If Dolores comes back sick, we can heal her. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. American innovation is the best. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find something to drink fast. And Ted wants water. Yes, it's it's that time. Again. Yes, role playing fun. Okay, we gave the military so many things. Why are they not coming to rescue us? I kinda I kinda wonder. Do we need to chop down some trees, maybe? Anything, nothing bothering anyone. So let's keep going. Oh, the water chip thing. I'm gonna if I give him water, I'm gonna give a get a gas mask. Not that I think that I need one, so I will skip this and not give the guy that wants a water ship <clears throat> a water bottle. He doesn't want it anyway. So we're just gonna send him on his merry way. Good luck to you. We were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Alright, she's fine, doesn't need anything, and Ted is hungry. Nom nom nom. I wonder if we just eat it cold. Ugh cold tomato soup. Is it like tomato juice? Ah, oh, man. I could totally go for some tomato juice. Day 38. Still no rescue. I'm thinking about eating my daughter. Alright. Oh, no. We don't think Dolores is coming back. It's been too long. Oh. Oh. Well. Guess I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gonna send anyone right now. Uh, someone wants to gamble with playing cards. I don't have playing cards. Go away, gambling man. I mean, I do feel confident. Even without Dolores. Mary Jane wants food. <clears throat> Here you go. And water tomorrow. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. You know what? I'm gonna prepare an expedition. Actually, I'm not gonna give her water today. I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow. And we're gonna send out Mary Jane. Oh, one of the cupboards on the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it to give it to the new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. How oh, new? No. We can't use any of those things to check out the secret door. Hopefully, we're not getting injured. That would be a shame. Nope, looks good. Some things are better left untouched. We're not checking that out. Good. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yes, yes, yes. It's water. It's time of water. And we're going to send out Mary Jane. I'm even going to give her some extra food. Increasing her chance, her odds. This is a good gate to go outside. Stre stretch a bit. Get some fresh air. Fresh toxic air. Maybe scavenge a thing or two. We could truly use some extra supplies. That's if we want to survive. I kind of want to. Okay, daughter. You can do this. You can bring us back some good stuff. We do have a med kit. So that's that's great. Okay, nobody wants anything. Nope. The guy comes back, wanna, wants to play cards. You really gotta bring cards if you wanna play cards. And hey, who am I to judge? Gambling's a terrible habit. Nothing to worry about. We woke up to the sound of banging on some more door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? 
No. The sound of banging? No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm too worried that if this is a raider or something. I hope it is knocking. I heard it's like two knocks or something. Not sure if that's a lie or not. We'll see. Day 43. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make a quick note and see what day 43. If there's like something in the log where it says like miss the military. Ted's stomach is rumbling. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Better safe than sorry, especially now that we're so close to getting out of this mess. One piece. Let's hope the military gets here soon. Yeah. Okay. So I feel it's confirmed that this wasn't the military. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Oh, sorry. That's that's not how you how you deal with that. Traveling salesman. Ooh. Okay. So we could trade in something. Since we only have a checker sport, I could get one bottle of water for that. Nope. I got plenty of stuff myself. No need. And Mary Jane is back. And she's not dead. Ooh, she brought us playing cards. You're the best. All right. We believe that our expedition must have been followed by strangers. Okay. Let's not go out again. Gasoline reserves blew up and did more damage than the atomic bomb. Yes. Abandoned truck with a soup can. And one bottle of water. And a deck of cards was just laying outside the booth. Playable enough. Yes. Cool. Yes. Let's give her some food. And hope she's going to be better soon. Yeah. We're not going to send anyone out. We were about to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be? Who could be part... How the hell did this? Should we open up? Um, okay, it's someone knocking at the door. <sighs> I heard it's two knocks. It might be the guys that take from the rich and give to the poor and they steal all of our stuff. I would hate that. Oh, I'm so uncertain now. <sighs> I heard it was two knocks with the military. I'm saying no. I'm saying no, and hopefully I didn't make the wrong call. Let's see. The banging stopped after a while and everyone was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Uh, okay. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. And water for everyone. Man, if that was the military, I'm going to be sad too. Day 45. We took some examining on the map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. Alright, let's check out the area. Ted can go outside, because he's gonna come back instantly. It's like an event thing. So, there you go. Did you bring something? Did you bring something back, Ted? Yeah, two cans of soup. Neato. Uh, he has safely returned from the voyage. Uh, must have been fall. We should be more cautious. Mary Jane, Mary Jane could use food, so could Ted. Use your food. You deserve it. And, of course, I'm not gonna send anyone out. Uh, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad. Real bad. You'll survive. You'll be fine. Just fine. Oh, no. We're not fine. We're sick. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. We contracted an illness. Ted became infected with something. Guess what? We're gonna heal Ted. Not gonna risk it. Um, Mary Jane could use food. Here you go. Yeah, we're not gonna send anyone. We worked today feeling uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. Movement in the shadows. Well, let's use our axe and deal with it. Ah, it's such a shame that she's sick. Ted dehydrated, fatigued, all the things. Wait, does he want something to eat? No, just drink. All right, at least Ted is safe. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. Should we tinker with the radio? Nope, we should not. I don't feel that's worth it right now. We were sh experiencing technical difficulties, yet said that is it. Everything will be just fine. Okay. It's not that time yet. Anyone wants food? Nope. No, no sending no one. Someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they are banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news, maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? Uh, they're banging on it like crazy. Ah, uh, nope. I think we were followed recently. I will open the door if it says one more. What? Wait, is it day fifty-one? I forgot to give him water. Oh, 
50 what okay i'm i'm calling bs it's usually every 50th day every 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 fifth day so today he should have actually been fine with water for whatever reason my counting was off i don't understand why we're not opening the door who knows what's on the other side better safe than sorry yeah well that's odd that makes me a little paranoid that this happened. Day 50 should be just fine. Ah, well. All right, let's see. Day 43. Traders be trading. Ignoring knocking on the door. Ignored knocking on the door. And 45. No. Well, we ignored knocking on the door a few times. That is so odd that I lost... But... I tried my best. Next time I might try the knocking again if someone knocks. I'm just so paranoid that it is the merry man that are just going to take away my food. I heard it's two knocks. That's the military. I don't know how accurate it is. Haven't found the guide about that yet. Might have to check the comments again. Any case, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of 60 Seconds. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. And don't forget to hit that like button. He likes it. Bye-bye.